What's going on, guys? John here with another episode of Patriots Franchise, and today we play maybe the most important game since Tom Brady was in the league. If we win this game, I don't think we actually do clinch, but we get really close to clinching the division. So we would move to 11-4, and the Bills would move to 9-6, and six, giving us a two-game lead but I don't know if we hold the tiebreaker is the problem. But I think this would be... The, for all I know, this could clinch the division. This game could be the thing that gets us to the playoffs. And if we clinch the division, that'd be hilarious. After 7-0 start, three-game losing streak, including losing to the 1-8 Bears. We broke the losing streak, then we lost to the freaking Texans of all teams uh, who were below 500 and now we're back on a win streak which is only one game but hey don't judge win streak's a win streak that's all that matters but I might because the biggest problem with our team has been fatigue There's not a lot I can do about that because Jalen Waddle's the one that gets fatigued. I probably should go back and change what players I'm getting training for tilts on because I'm not making it starters. I have that on auto because, you know, I don't want to see, I don't want to go through every single time and change it. But sometimes the AI is just so stupid when it comes to that. As we complete Josh Hales and get gold. I talked through the entire thing. Um, if we go back. Uh, I want. Whoops, no. Player health. Why would you give the starters all the reps? Split. I do not want all my starters to get reps. To get reps. E oh, they're all fine though. That's the thing. You know what? We ball. We'll figure it out. I'll see you after I complete the rest of them. All right, so gold with everyone. I'm still shocked that Amari Reynolds is only 22. Okay, we do get fatigue on a lot of our players. Dang. Holy, a lot of fatigue on our starters. Ramondre's gassed. Dorsey's going to be really tired. Waddle and Terry are going to be really tired. Okay. Well, do we need to make some changes? What receivers are in free agency? Because we're going to have to bring some of them in. Josh Hales gets an upgrade. He's an 87 right now. We're going to upgrade Scrambler. He's up to an 88. Nope. Still an 87. I think. I don't know if I did the math right there. Uh, Amari Reynolds. Uh, we're going to upgrade your slot. You actually jump up over to be a higher overall than uh, Cordell Goodwin. That's kind of shocking. Kyle Terry should go to 85 if I upgrade playmaker but i'm gonna upgrade physical you're still gonna go to an 85 you're a big body guy you gotta have those big body stats peter skaronsky pass protector run protecting is not the problem even though his is probably run protecting being the problem but i don't care and then randy gibson will give you playmaker so now we're gonna check free agency see if there's any interesting finds because I we need receiving depth. Because all of our receivers are going to become super tired. You know what? Chase Claypool. Welcome to the squad somehow. We just signed Chase freaking Claypool. That's how desperate we are for receivers. Now I need to cut one player. He's probably going to ask me to cut Chase Claypool. Yeah. But... My thought process is with all of our... Because we're going to see Waddle, Dorsey, and Terry go down tired. So we need other guys to step up. So we're not going to cut any of our quarterbacks. Not going to cut any of our three running backs. Only three tight ends. Two tackles, two guards, two centers, two guards, two t one tackle. But like, yeah, we don't have a lot of uh, space to cut guys. You know, not a lot of middle linebackers. Harold Landry might actually have to be the one that gets cut. 
because that's the only spot we have multiple extra guys. So Harold Landry, you were solid for the team, but we don't need you. We need receiving depth. We go with receiving depth. We'll see how it works out. Anthony Dorsey's playing up to a 91. Holy cow, this kid's insane. Um, I also wanted to change uh, Nick Key's first one free. I want to swap that out for Josh Hales' ability. There we go. Uh, and then now I have to go back to defense. Defense also looks really good. Duggar's playing up too. The defense isn't playing up as high as the offense is. Wow, it's crazy. Amari Reynolds is a higher overall than Cordell Goodwin. Nick Keyes is going to play over Sergio Hopkins. And Cordell Goodwin's actually in the slot now. So, I mean, honestly, Goodwin's smaller. You don't want your big... You don't want smaller guys to be on the outside a lot of the time. Just because it can cause chaos. But now we're going to jump in 12 minutes into the episode to face off against one of our, I'd say one of our two biggest rivals. I think the Jets are a bigger rival, but I don't know, these guys are bigger, good, big rivals too. And we'll get a look at the Penguin, Jalen Waddle. He's one of the league's best, currently third in the NFL in receiving yards. Jalen Waddle, um, obviously one of the NFL receiving yard leaders, but this is your reminder, um, everyone get a drink of water right now. That's what I'm doing because I have a migraine, so drink. Winner is just around the corner as you get a look at Highmark Stadium just south of Buffalo, New York. It is week 16. And Water tastes delicious. As we cannot lose this game. I mean, we can. It's just that would give the Bills control of their own destiny. We win here, we control the East. 0 oh, Owen Foster drills it deep. Man who's wearing Damar Hamlin's number will not return it, and it's the Bills ball. Um, I just skipped the cutscene, but I just saw that Josh Allen has three picks on the entire year. How is this team 9-5? and five? Cook runs for a single yard before he gets laid out by our wall at defensive lineman known as uh, Jordan Davis. We're going to send a blitz second play of the game. Here we go. And Cordell Goodwin, out of the slot, comes in and makes a tackle for loss. That's impressive. You know, maybe that was the, the move we needed to make. Third and 12, already in dire situation. They're running a screen. Just tackle him. Thank you, Mapu. He broke off two tackles, but Shaw is not able to get the first. And we are going to get a punt on the first drive for the Bills. Nick Key's back to return. He doesn't have his X Factor because I took it off of him for our superstar X Factor quarterback. But it doesn't really matter. That's a solid return, though. And Josh Hales comes out to lead this team. Can he bring us once again to the promised land? Last year, we made a Lin Sanby run to the AFC Championship game where we lost to the dynasty known as the Chiefs. As Hales is going to take it himself, he's going to get around the edge and he's going to gain five. But yeah, like we lost to the Chiefs because we could not play defense. So, also, shout out the Packers for starting four and five and one or whatever. And then they faced us and they have lost every game since. That's sad. They're 5-9. and nine. There's Ramondre, by the way. Solid run. Now we're going to throw it to the man. He's probably going to end up leading us in receiving yards. Anthony Dorsey. Six yards. Don't. Don't do that to me. I hate that animation. Because he saw his guy was going to be open immediately. So he took the R. Okay, well, that's an immediate sack. I accidentally switched the play to something I didn't want, and 
we were stuck with it. So now we've got third and long, like really long. And okay. Waddle can't grab it. Justin Reed, I think is who that is. Turn around. What's, I can't. Come on. I want to see who it was. Well, I'm going to guess it's Justin Reed. 20 safety with dreads. It's probably Justin Reed. Lane Shipley boots it deep. Come on, pin him. Oh, he's going to get the return. Why do you have Stefan Diggs return punts? Oh, my gosh. Stefan Diggs just died. N'Kobe Dean just ended his whole career. N'Kobe Dean, you guy who has not seen the field like more than backup reps, just ended Stefan Diggs' career. My lord. Save that man. Second and ten. Bills looking to sweep us, obviously. They were part of our three-game skid we had. Pass committing. No way. Who is that? That ain't O.J. Simpson that he ain't breaking that tackle. O.J. Simpson was a killer on the field. Low hanging fruit, I'm sorry. On play action, Allen. What a play, Cordell Goodwin. Move it to the slot, and that was a great play. So, I mean, hey, if it works, it works, right? So, I'll take it. Stop talking about it being cold. No one cares. And Stefan Diggs has a touchdown. I'm not even going. After. There's no point. I. Eddie Jackson went to take him out. He obviously steps over him because I can't go for cut sticks. And Amari Reynolds' ankles probably snapped. So, man, I wish I could still get animations of block kicks. That'd be nice. So our first drive was stuffed, and Jalen Waddle's already off the field. Oh, of course he is. It's exactly the way signed Chase Claypool. Lol. Doesn't make any sense. Stop it, Ramondre. You're not hurt. Stop doing this to me. Negative six passing yards for us. Is that sack? Can we not have that happen? There we go. We gained the six back. We're at zero yards, apparently. Actually, we're at one because that was a seven-yard reception. Let's go. Positives. Lewis seen good tackle and Ramondre's hurt and we don't have a backup please don't walk off he's holding his leg no really that's how it's gonna end our season could be over because of that injury we have to rely on Keith Mitchell Sergio Hopkins and if anything else Luke Jackson is our last hope we have to rely on our fullback as our number three running back as now our starting centers hurt it's the same it's the same same stuff high ankle sprain okay at least he's not out for multiple weeks but last time we played the Bills all of our starters got hurt in both training and the game it's the same game over again Thank you, Chris. Chris, go. Chris Thomas, huge play, flipping the field. We're running it right back. We're going to run RPO bubble. Fire at the keys. Keys make a move. There we go. We're going to keep going. Nine seconds. All right. I can do that. Nick Keys is in. Touchdown. And with no time left in the first, we drive straight down the field and tie up the game. Calf strain. 
uh, you're staying in Beekman. This is a pivotal game. Okay, if I show my age a little bit, partner. All right, come on. I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Ooh, that could have been a pick. Christian Gonzalez was too busy watching the route. The ball hit him in the chest. But doesn't matter. Incompletion, I'll take it. And he's got his X factor enabled, apparently. They must have counted that as a pass deflection. Down goes Josh Allen. Tyree Wilson gets to Allen. And that's a huge sack to force a third down. Okay, Tyree Wilson now has to play coverage. I don't know if I like that as much as I like him getting sacks. I, I like that, though. It's Lo Lawrence? Lawrence Wheaton? Hold up. You got to check his name. Stats. Player stats. Uh, pun Not punting. Defense. Lindsey. Lindsey Wheaton. What a sack from our trade deadline acquisition, Lindsey Wheaton. One of two guys we traded for at the deadline. It was Wheaton and Peter Skaronsky. And I will take that from one of the deadline guys. There's Keys. Solid return up to the 50. And that's some momentum. Don't let us get hot. Josh Hales is hot. No pause. Don't let us get momentum. Keaton Mitchell loves momentum. Keaton Mitchell is the greatest running back named Keaton Mitchell of all time. I love to say that about uh, my favorite baseball player, Lars Newpar. Lars Newpar is the greatest player of all time. Then I add a long pause and I say, named Lars. It's not funny at all, but it can keep me positive about my favorite player, even if he hasn't been doing great this year. As that's Keaton Mitchell, another great run. Like I said, don't let Keaton get hot. But yeah, at, at the time of this recording, Lars Newpar just got ejected from, our, from a game, so. Pain. Firing sideline, and that's a wild throw. Mm. You don't really see that very often. Oh, I said that was Justin. By the way, that's Quentin Lake. Rams legend Quentin Lake. I played a Rams franchise, a Rams rebuild, and Quentin Lake, like, dominated it for some reason. Firing underneath, Chris Thomas. Pull him over, buddy. Come on, get the first. First down. That's what you like to see. His third catch, he's stepping up when others have literally stopped playing football. Going right up the middle with Hales, seven yards. You know, I see when they do that edge threat, I need to learn not to scramble. I need to learn to just, you know, peek my head out and go for runs. Kyle Terry has not had catches in the last couple games. I just realized. Oh my, Josh Hales. Josh Hales, come on. Dorsey, why are you standing out of bounds? It's one of the craziest, like, circus plays you'll ever see. And Dorsey's like, mm, I'm going to stand outside. Let's ruin his play. So now we're handing it off to Keaton Mitchell in a power situation. And, of course, with the momentum, Keaton Mitchell, baby. Who needs Ramondre? We got Keaton Mitchell. I never thought I'd be saying that. And now... We're going right back to, oh, he's, he is so gassed. Just get in. <laughs> Keaton Mitchell, touchdown. He went full on Superman on that play. Can we see a replay? Look at this. Just jumps. I complain about the animations in this game, but I love that animation so much. It's so funny for no reason. Just launches himself. Makes no sense whatsoever, but that's what I like to call a wee ball moment. All right, Joshy Allen, what can you do here? James Cook, backwards. Get back, buddy. Don't test Kyle Duggar. You meet him in the box, you're going backwards. Eight times out of seven. Actually, it's more like three times out of ten, but... You know, let me, let me be happy for once. Another great tackle. Pounds? That guy's name is Pounds? That, that might be the greatest name I've ever seen. P. Pounds. Pounds what? Mm -hmm. It's not up to me. 
So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. And Allen fumbles. Get the ball. Amari Reynolds is on it. And we've got the ball again. Allen is sacked yet again. I believe that was by Tyree Wilson. And we have the ball. I don't know why I said ball like that. We've got the ball. You know, we got the ball. Keaton Mitchell is once again putting the team on his back. Greg Jennings style. I really wanted to put a corner right on that play. That would have been the nastiest corner right you would have ever seen. Had a Kyle, not Kyle Terry, Anthony Dorsey. But instead, we might have a touchdown here with Dorsey, depending on what that Ed end does. He gains three. And now we're letting the clock run, bro. Give me two clock. We're running inside zone with known power back Keaton Mitchell, baby. And he got the first, baby. Let's go. Keaton Mitchell. Who needs Ramondre anymore? We've got Keaton freaking Mitchell. Known power back to Keaton Mitchell. Come on, Keaton. Let's get in the end zone again. Cut inside. You know, it's fine. It's fine. It wastes time. Waste clock. Waste clock. Alright. Okay. Do we just hand it off to Keaton Mitchell for a third straight play? I think so. He's in again. Keaton Mitchell for the second time. And Keaton Mitchell is doing amazing to back up Ramondre. Alright, Alan, what can you do? There's not a lot you have been doing. Alan now on first down. What? <laughs> what? What are you talking about? What are you complaining about, Josh? You ran a halfback screen and threw it 30 yards downfield. Alright, I feel like this is going to be an RPO. Or not an RPO, play action. Nope, it's an actual handoff. You know what? We're calling timeout. Give the ball back. I'll gladly take it. Nick Keyes returning the ball. They almost got the first, but that doesn't matter. We got nine seconds, one timeout. Can we get into field goal range? Come on, Nick. Come on, buddy. Oh, well. Well, at least we tried, you know. We head to halftime, up by two touchdowns on the Buffalo Bills. Did anyone expect a Keaton Mitchell breakout game? In week 16 versus the Buffalo Bills. I know I sure did. Second and inches. Now we're going to go read option. Hales to Mitchell. Oh my gosh, Hales just broke a tackle. I thought we were about to go backwards and we are going to have to do third and long. Instead, Josh Hales bounced off Greg Rousseau. So, oh, hey, Jalen Waddle's back. How many plays before he's out? I guess one touch of the football. Let's see. Don't even get to throw it to him. Hales was already pancaked. Hales only has 90 yards passing, I want it to be known. Great catch by Dorsey. We're running it back. It, Waddle is not coming off the field yet. All right, buddy. Jalen, what do you call that? Is that like Jalen special? Like, what do you, what do you what do you want me to do to give you a better ball in that situation? Don't worry, we got the first down anyway, because Keith Mitchell is by far the better player. But, like, where do I need to throw that, that you can catch it better? Just let me know. You want, you want to call me, tell me in the huddle, you know, after the game. I'll throw it wherever you need it to. Tell Josh for all I care. Just go right where you need the ball to be thrown, point it out during practice. I'll throw it there. You can catch it all you want. Last chance. If you drop this one, I am benching you, and I am not joking. 
Thank you. There you go. That's where you need to catch it. I ran you right to a hit stick. You deserve it. That's what you get for dropping the ball. Firing to the to this sideline. I almost said seam. Seam is that is not the seam. Hey, is Keaton Mitchell the greatest running back of all time? Let's find out. Candy yard. At that point, he's kind of just burning clock. This is for the division right here. Who is locked in? Who is prepared to put their life on the line for this game? Is it you, Jalen? Are you going to catch this? He's got bench for Chase Claypool. Keep Dorsey. Yep. yep. We're playing and simple. That's the second time today. We're just going to sit in silence. Let him think about it. You know, Jalen's lucky I don't just trade him. I might trade him in the offseason. Breaking news. Uh, tensions high between Jalen Waddle and the team. Thanks, James Cook. You just gave me a free tackle for loss. Amazing. That's hilarious. Amazing gameplay. James Cook tries too hard and accidentally loses yardage. And oh my gosh, Cordell Goodwin in the slot might be the greatest play, greatest decision I've ever made. Like, there's no way. Pass committing. Backing up my two linebackers. And they try that stupid bubble screen. Did not work. And they have to punt. Thankfully, Jalen Waddle is not on the field anymore because I would not be able to stand having that kind of bad player on my field. Taken from just outside the 30. Shedding the tackle. He just went backwards on that one. Yep. Keaton Mitchell has been amazing. Just going to throw that out there. Like you'd say, oh, well, Ramondre has a higher yard. It's because Ramondre's a 90 overall. Keaton Mitchell's in the 70s, my dog. My boy. Look at that. Keaton Mitchell can catch. You know, it's funny. Keaton Mitchell has a touchdown reception and like three catches as Nick Keyes just made a crazy catch what a throw by Hales to get it over but that's that's crazy um, but my boy my boy Keaton Mitchell has caught a touchdown pass don't forget that is in that blowout I think against the Bills as Josh Hales is going to celebrate into the end zone for a touchdown. He does a somersault. That's what you like to see. Come on, Josh. What are you going to do? We have 110 more rushing yards than you. Bars. That is bars. You guys hear that? That was bars. Unintentional bars. James Cook has caught a, a more contested catch than Jalen Waddle has. Put it on the board. Oh my gosh, Goodwin, or Goodwin, come on buddy, come on, get him, get him, get him. Nope, Diggs has two catches in there, like for 4,000 yards. Ah! They're going for two, no one's covering Stefan Diggs. Throw it to Diggs, I dare you. I dare you. You don't get to. Ty Bree Wilson, baby. Don't test him. Tyree Wilson owns you, Josh Allen. O N O O W N S owns you. Sorry, I lost my third grade spelling. That's not even third grade. That's probably like second. Whatever. B ball. Going Kyle Terry on a screen. Six yard game. We love those RPOs, man. 
completion percentage, completion percentage, completion percentage. Say that five times fast. I can't. I can't even spell owns. Weird word, by the way. Like, why wouldn't it be ounce? I guess maybe that sounds too close to ounce, but it's not like they've done anything else more confusing. Keaton Mitchell runs for one. Insane, insane player. Alright, let's see. Come on. And I can't, can't do anything. I should have waited and let them run over to me, but whatever. We'll punt. You know, we've punted twice. And we still hold a, what, 18 point lead? No penalty. There's no penalty there. I didn't see anything. I need to start going for strips. For strip uh, tackles. Especially with Chris Wade, because he has that one. He's a strip specialist. Amari, please, buddy. Please. What are you doing? You could have easily picked that. Now we've got to give him another chance. Alright, Cordell, you're on digs. Uh-oh. Cordell made up for it. Or, no, Amari Reynolds made up for it. I don't care. He's the greatest of all time. <sighs> Amari. That one's not on Amari. He just threw it too fast. I couldn't do much. That's Diggs' first catch that didn't go for a touchdown of like 60 yards. It's hilarious. Gonzalez in completion. Come on. Bring Duggar down. Run it. You're scared. Should have gone for a strip with Wade. Are you trash talking Chris Wade? I need to move Chris Wade to middle linebacker so play tight end. Need him to catch a touchdown. Is that double me? It might be double me. We have to see is that double me? Please don't be double me. Nope, it's not double. We ball. Here's Allen to throw it. Oh my gosh, Allen goes down again. It's Ali McNeil this time. Now we're sending a blitz. How in the world do you catch that one? You got this, come on. Oh. False start, baby. Amazing. Amazing. Sensational, even. Uh-oh. I'm on the wrong guy. I, indeed, was stuck on the defensive line. Oh, they're running hurry up now. Okay. Uh, uh, nope, nope, nope. Mapu. Sure. Yep, you can't catch that. Demarcus Lawrence is hurt, though. And I have no idea if he got walked off. So who's replacing him? Oh, it's Clowney. Clowney, I believe uh, Shaq Reddick will probably play some. I mean, if you just want to keep doing these really short checkdowns, I will let you. Eddie Jackson picked up. Picked Josh Allen. Come on, Eddie. Come on, Eddie. Come on. Run. Josh Allen's holding everyone up. It's a pick six for Eddie Jackson. No way. An abdominal tear for Fox. Okay. And that's the game. 
Bye bye, Josh Allen. You just threw away the game. Pierce Karonsky's hurt. Okay. All right, Josh, what are you going to do now? Would it be a corner route to Dalton Kincaid? Yes. I just didn't react to it because I... It's that weird animation where if he goes out, your bat, your player automatically backs up no matter what, I guess, to avoid an illegal contact. What a throw. Why are you throwing screen passes, Josh? Not one of those is working for you. Flipping the play? Oh no, I'll just switch to Mapu, buddy. That went backwards. Alright, game and the division on the line. Oh my gosh. Nope, just stay out of the play. Stay out of the play. You're not getting him. I forgot to choose onside kick, guys. He might be cooked. Nope. N'Kobe Dean, baby. Never would have thought N'Kobe Dean would be the one to get the, the play. but And it wasted two minute warning. So now it's. Come on, Mitchell. And they're they're not even calling timeouts. So they know it's cooked. Three scores. They cannot score. Right back to Mitchell on second down. Keaton, you're in bounce, right? Maybe he might not be in bounce. He was in bounce. Keaton Mitchell with an <laughs> amazing game. And that is the game. Should we try and do one more play, get him to 100? We're going to try it. Come on, five yards, five yards. There we go. Over 100. As time expires, we are going to, I think, win the division. So this will line up a victory for the New England Patriots. And we, we didn't even need so to throw the ball a ton. Who wins and who loses Josh Allen, thanks for that no pick. Hale's 192 yards. That's all I need, and a touchdown. Mitchell, 107 and two touchdowns. Hale's 30 and a touchdown. You look at every facet of the game. Keys had 71 and the only touchdown on the air. Jalen Waddle had two drops. Why he got benched. Amari Reynolds, Duggar, Wilson, and Goodwin all had four tackles. Wade and Moppy each had three. Three TFLs for Wilson, two of them sacks. The interception for Jackson. Two pass deflections for Goodwin. And then the forced fumble for Tyree Wilson. We finally got one of those. And the touchdown by Eddie Jackson. Just a, a beautiful game. Beautiful game. So, we win. I don't know if that clinched the division. I'll have to check and see. Demarcus Lawrence is out for four weeks. Ah, uh, that sucks. But we won. That's all that matters. Keaton Mitchell is my savior, apparently. Oh my gosh, it's us versus the Chiefs. Is this for the one seed? No, the Jaguars are just the greatest team of all time, apparently. They're also 11 and 4. My guess is the winner of this game gets the one seed. Because who do the Jags play? Jags play the Eagles. They're going to lose that game. Just watch, they're going to win by like 30. Um, here's your MVP update Josh Hales is probably not even going to be on the list. He's still at 5. Give us Coach of the Year, dog. Hales passes Waddle. Good. Waddle does not deserve to be on here. Duggar's still at 4. Wade's at 7. Mapu's at 9. Obviously, Nikki's is not going to be top of Rookie of the Year. And just seeing if we have anyone at the top. Mike Onwenu, best offensive lineman. Mapu lost best 
uh, linebacker, Duggar Best defensive back. Owen Foster deserves this, not Chris freaking Boswell. But I'm going to stay calm. You know, we're going to tone it down. And we're going to prepare to face my favorite team and apparently my arch nemesis, the Kansas City Chiefs. 89 overall, number four offense in points per game, one or number two in yards per game, and number three in points per game. We are number one in points per game offensively, number one in yards per game passing and rushing, and number 30 defensively. So we'll see how it works, baby. Uh, if you guys enjoyed us destroying the Bills because we are the greatest team of all time, leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time.